Alright guys, we're back once again. We're moving the spider from here into this new enclosure. But what is it? Stay tuned to find out. Alright guys, so welcome back and this is going to be a video where I'm going to be rehousing my grown on sling Hypatria apocrypes. Um absolutely stunning species, a golden blue leg baboon for people using common names. Um let's just get into that because this spider talks for itself. Right guys, so as the intro said, we're gonna be rehousing this, you can now see it. My H Pocropies. Um I think I'm gonna do this with one of these. Just try and be a bit safe because this one is quite bolty. So I need to try and get it out from if it runs down. And we're going into a new enclosure. I'll quickly show you that before I try and get it out. New enclosure. Nice deep level of substrate. So if it wants to, I'm going to do that. Make a little hole down there in case it wants to go down there. But there is, as you can see, a big hole there for it to go into. Lots of room in there. Um, water dish, which is full this time. And look at my Paul Hemi video I did. Fully prepared for this, so let's see if we can get it from one to the other. See if it's going to be quite easy or if it's just going to bolt. As it's small, I'll try and use plastic if I can. I can't really see what I'm doing. Try and use plastic. It's not food. No, stop trying to bite it. Oh, keep going up. Keep going up. Oh. So this is planned. As you can see, look at the colours on that. Absolutely amazing spider. If you don't have one of these in your collection, I know that Gav from Gav's Transfers is mighty jealous. Before I continue, a massive thank you to Beth's Pets. I'll put her link in the description below. She actually gave me this one after my last one died. So let's see if we can just get it straight into its new hide and have another completely smooth rehouse. see from here the plan is to open that up and if you can see the T it's there I'm hoping one little push and it goes to the other way it's not food you literally ate yesterday don't can you see this? I'm not sure you can. Like frat bows, it might be the label in the way. Let's go with a bigger end. Straight out, down into the hole. Exactly as planned. Another smooth rehouse, another happy keeper. Let's see if we can show you it in its home. Yeah, you can just see the blue legs which is why this is called the golden blue leg baboon for the common name try not to use them but oh, he wants to come out and say hi hello you hello i've got to bite you uh, again absolutely amazing looking spider who is actually coming out to say hello go back and relax now before it tries to escape oh and it's run back in the hole dirty fingers 
damn substrate. Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, second in a row, gone exactly as planned. Absolutely perfect. No stress on me, as you saw by the spider coming back out of the burrow. No stress on the spider at all. I'll leave it for 24 hours, feed it, as doing such a good job. Um, yeah, that's about it. The quick one on the 1st of March. I will be going to Bugfest. I'll be travelling up, picking Gav from Gav's Tarantulas up on the way. Um, I'm already planning on picking up a mature male Balfoury from Ian Tarantula. That's who messaged me on the last video, if you're probably looking at it. Um, I'm looking to hopefully get a mature male Brachiopamahamore, a mature male Chromatopoma Simon Pubescence, and maybe a mature male uh, Davis Pentelorus if I can. Um, the other one was about four, I was looking at getting those four, that's all. And um, the about four is now taken care of because I've sorted out deal out of Ian. So possibly a scorpion is my fourth. I don't know, but let me know in the comments. One, if you're going, and two, if you've got any of those that I've said about which are possibly for sale. Catch you on the next one. As always, I'm Al. You guys are awesome. Hasta la. Bye bye.